overall, I'm really happy with this Nixie clock. Uh, this is one of the Triming Nixies. Um, this time, instead of a solenoid, I've used a small motor um, that's just 12 volts. Um, we've got the AM PM indicator, uh, dot indicators, or the neons, um, RGB backlighting, and then some vacuum tubes that are lit with some LEDs. Um, just going to show you the chime here. Uh, showing the date, which isn't correct. But... So it does have um, switches for everything. So the LED tubes and for those that don't like the chime or they want to shut it off at night um, this is to turn the chime off and then there's actually a switch for the clock itself um, the clock is run on a uh, battery operated backup real-time keeper which is housed in here uh, four screws easily remove the access panel so that someone can change the battery. A um, few details on the side. Overall, turned out really, really nice. Um, I'm a little unsatisfied with this bottom tube. Um, lining up the copper elbows was really tricky so that there would be enough to actually hold the tube tight and get it at the correct angle. Um, this one is fit in a little bit better, but this one I might have to readjust. Um, due to the trickiness of it and the complexity of actually getting this panel out, um, I might just settle with it, but being a perfectionist, I imagine I will probably try and, and straighten this one out a bit. But everything is serviceable, so uh, the motor can be replaced by removing two screws here. And this tube and the cover come off and the motor slides out. Um, four screws if I actually have to pull off the motor housing. Um, the hammer can be swapped to different hammers, um, but right now the hammer that's on there is working really well. Um, barometer down here. These chains will eventually hold on to some fake weights. And I've got a kind of military style grade uh, power plug here so um, this can actually the power cord can actually be disconnected and you know for if you want to move it or or whatever I figured I would add that feature in but all in all I'm really happy with it it works great um, this clock has been in the making for quite some time Everything on this clock basically is custom made. Uh, the case was taken from an old wall clock that I previously had acquired and I just gutted it because uh, it was no good and I started building everything into it. All the plates were bought from a local engraving shop and then I modified them to basically build all the paneling. Um, this piece here is separate and had to be soldered into the angled plate. Um, these six acorn nuts come off and this whole front plate comes out and gives you access to all the wiring and the circuitry um, that's in behind here. So there's quite a bit of wiring and, and everything that is hidden behind this panel it all stays hidden, you don't see it. 
Um, you can't really, like even, you can see a little bit of it in person, but you know, unless you're looking for it, you're, you're really not going to see it. It doesn't distract from the actual appearance of the clock. Um, front glass door, it latches shut. Simple little latch here. And all in all, I'm probably going to add some, some more plumbing detail down in here just to bring the flow of the steampunk theme down into the bottom of the clock. Um, and then kind of have a little cap here that for accenting. really like how I was able to have the RTC light light up this little box. That box was a bit of a challenge to build, but very happy with the outcome. This actually, this assembly here is probably the favorite, my favorite part of the entire clock. Um, turned out really well. Looks just fantastic. And overall, really happy with the the theme and, and how it all flows and came together. So hope you all like it and keep following for more projects.